Hey everybody, I can't talk long. I actually am on my way home from, I just started a job today as a, a nurse, a bedside nurse. I'm gonna be a home health nurse in this area, in a rural area right near where we live. And so um, it's exciting. I haven't done patient care in like 13 years and I haven't worked full time outside the home in like five years. So, but um, that's the first big crazy news. <laughs> and it's cool. I'm, I'm very blessed and thankful for the opportunity and um, everything that God has provided along the way for this opportunity. So pray for me um, to adjust to this and my family as well. Speaking of my family, another big crazy news is that before I took this or even saw this opportunity come back up because I had take I actually got this offer for this job look at my crazy hair too it's the weather today anyway I got the offer for this job once already and had to turn it down because it wouldn't have been worth our kids child care cost uh, for me to go back to work because the daycare would have been just you know pretty much eaten up what I'm you know getting from work and it wouldn't have been worth that so, actually, God worked it out that between me turning this job down before and then even having another job I had accepted and ended up turning down um, for a lot of different reasons, that it was just not the right job, um, my mother, out of the blue, hey, Linda, I miss you. Um, thank you. And out of the blue, my mom had messaged me a little bit after or on my birthday and told me that she felt like she wanted to offer to come live with us for a while a few months whatever it would take for us to be able to kind of um feel comfortable with me being able to go back to work and get things arranged better before you know we did it again on our own because we've been without family support a lot of our time not all of it but we've lived far away from family quite a bit and we've done fine with that. God's always provided and helped us to do that. And we've given us, he's given us family away from family and friends, like, you know, church people, everything. Uh, but um, this time it just wasn't settling well until my mom made that offer. And that was such a blessing because she also misses being able to get to know my two younger ones, especially. And she loves my oldest, of course, and wants to spend more time with him too. So, um, she has come as of about a week ago she started living with us when we came back to town from our family reunion she came back with us and she's just been a blessing to have around it's been so precious to spend some more time with her and for her to be able to spend time with our children um, and now like i said that job that i i really felt good about the people and the job itself and everything the last time that i just I wrestled with it, prayed about it, and ultimately we felt like I needed to turn it down. And then it went away, like they had hired someone or whatever. And then it came back up after she made this offer for her to come live with us. It came back up, and I want to say before I even, yeah, before she even officially moved in with us, I had, in the meantime, applied for the job, interviewed for the job, gotten the offer at the interview. And then that evening when I got home, hey, Michelle. Um, that evening when I got home and talked to my husband about it, he agreed that we felt comfortable taking it this time. And so I accepted it that very same day and started today. And everyone was very, very sweet and it felt very comfortable there. Of course, it's just a bunch of stack of paperwork I was reading and signing and all of that. Hey, Pam. So today was not a typical what it's going to be kind of day. But it's coming, and so be praying for me as I transition back into doing the real nursing bedside kind of stuff in people's homes. And in the beginning, I will have the support of people physically there with me, but um, but after I've been oriented for a while, they'll still be there to support me as I need them, but I'll start becoming on my own. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, and going into people's houses by myself and doing all this nursing care stuff, by myself and so that's a big thing but I, I feel like by that time I'll I'll be ready uh, it's kind of like riding a bike and once I've gotten the good long orientation in with other people around me that have done this in the home a lot um, then I think it'll be 
it'll be good. And so just be praying for us all as we transition into this. And I'm excited. Um, there's some other big news that I cannot share because it's someone else's news to share. However, what I can say is with so many things going on in my life and other people's lives around me that I see, I can tell you <clears throat> that God is faithful, that even when someone, one of the pieces is something that everybody already knows about, just seeing the transition in my brother's life, uh, you know, when, when someone is just um, so distant from God and doing things in their life, addiction and all the things that you think at times there's almost no hope. Thank you, Chris, Kristen and Suzanne. But you know, you kind of get to that point where you just, you know that God can heal and change people's lives and these specific people you love so much. And you know that so much could be so much better. And but at times you just kind of start to give up on thinking it's ever going to happen. And I've seen it happen before my eyes in the last several months. And it's been such a blessing to watch. And beyond that, the piece of news I can't tell you about because it's someone else's that's not out in the open yet is just that God, again, is faithful and does work the impossible. He is the God of the impossible. He can and will do the impossible, the things that you just cannot even imagine. You think things are just long gone, not going to happen. People's hearts aren't going to change. Relationships aren't going to heal. They're just, just an afterthought now. And then God steps in and as he had always planned and you just couldn't see, he does his work and he shows us how faithful he is even when we are not even when we humans mess up so much hurt each other do all the things but yet he redeems and restores even the hardest uh, most excruciating things you you endure and so I'm very thankful for what God is doing in all kinds of people's lives these days mine and many others included and I I ask if you're watching this right now and you know in your own life you've experienced God's miraculous amazing redemption from whatever it might be in whatever situation please please share that for other people to learn from and and be encouraged by here as well as if you know people whether it's your loved ones your friends or just you know of people and their amazing true testimonies of what God has restored and redeemed in their lives and relationships. Please share those here. I know some of you right now I'm thinking of um, that I was a witness to right firsthand. So, hey, Neil. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share a little bit of all that with y'all. But yeah, I've never not been a nurse all this time. I've always been a nurse for 17 years. I've kept my RN even when I was not working at the bedside, but I was still working as a computer nurse. Even when I was just a homeschool stay-at-home mom, just, y'all, that is probably the hardest job I've done. I'm telling you. Um, even then, I kept my RN for Louisiana all that time. I had a New Jersey RN when I lived up there and worked a job up there. And now this year, I've been able to through uh, some blessings of God and uh, to obtain my Texas RN as well. So now I have Texas and Louisiana active. New Jersey's not active anymore. And this job was something that would not have been a possibility without the Texas. So I'm thankful that God made the way for that to happen. And so, yeah, that's my news. I'm Miss Bedside in the Home <laughs> nurse starting today so pretty exciting and um, I have some other really cool things to share with you too I might save those for later however they're kind of time sensitive but anyway I'll tell you more about that one later <laughs> so I'll keep you guessing all right y'all have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you for tuning in. Share your testimonies, yours and people you know and love who have been redeemed by God, their relationships, their lives, their addictions, broken free from. Please share. Let's do that. Let's make this a sharing, a sharing thread uh, to encourage and inspire others and show proof of God's work. All right. Love y'all. Bye.